Hello, my name is Daniel Honnable, Applications Engineer at Touchstone Semiconductor. The ability to adjust the output frequency of a free oscillating timer by varying a controlled voltage source is a very useful application, otherwise known as a voltage controlled oscillator. For the purposes of this video, I'll be implementing Touchstone's TS3002 timer in a VCO application while also demonstrating how to properly select the necessary circuit components. Before I begin, let's review the TS3002 VCO application circuit. Here we have the application circuit for the TS3002 VCO. Please note, in order to extend the operating frequency range for the TS3002 timer to 290 kHz, it is necessary to tie the boost pin to VDD as shown in the circuit. As stated in the datasheet, the fundamental F out frequency is determined by the C set value as well as the R set value. Before I discuss the necessary values for these components, let's take a look at how this voltage divider affects the output frequency. Here we have the voltage divider as seen by the R set pin. The voltage divider equation defined by the circuit components is highlighted. Please note, due to the internal circuitry of the TS3002 timer, the applied voltage at the R set pin must not exceed 300 millivolts. The F out frequency equation is given on page 8 of the TS3002's datasheet. From reviewing this equation, the maximum output frequency can be determined when the resistance seen by the R set pin is at a minimum. This occurs when VS voltage is equal to zero, thereby causing R1 and R set to appear in parallel. By setting the C set cap equal to 8.5 puff and using a maximum frequency of 290 kHz, the equivalent R total is approximately equal to 340 kilo ohms. Now considering the voltage divider equation and the maximum value for the VS voltage range, the two resistor values, R1 and R set, can now be found. Keep in mind their parallel equivalent must be approximately equal to 340 kilo ohms. Now let's take a look at some of the waveforms on the scope from the F out pin while varying the VS voltage. Here we have the TS3002 VCO circuit setup and ready for measurement. The circuit has been constructed on a board and is located here. There is a multimeter which will measure the output frequency from the F out pin, while also an oscilloscope which will display the waveform from the F out pin. First I will begin with the VS voltage equal to 0 volts, as shown here. As expected, the F out frequency is approximately equal to 290 kHz. The slight discrepancy is due to the fact that my parallel resistance is equal to 337 kilo ohms. Now let's increase the VS voltage to 700 millivolts. The output frequency results in 79 kilohertz. I have made each frequency measurement for the corresponding VS voltage and have plotted the transfer function. Let's take a look at that graph now. Here is the transfer function for the TS3002 VCO circuit. As expected, the graph is a linear line. This can now be used as a reference for obtaining the desired frequency output based upon the VS voltage. As demonstrated by this video, a voltage controlled oscillator can be a very useful application. My name is Daniel Honnable, Applications Engineer at Touchstone Semiconductor. Thank you for watching.